they marched in the streets, spent months in jail, and went to war with a president. Women in America finally won their right to vote in 1920. By that time, women in Idaho had been casting ballots and winning seats for nearly a quarter of a century. Why would it have happened in the West before in the East? Sometimes I am overwhelmed thinking of how did it ever happen in the West? When you have women working just as hard as the men and building this new society in this very rugged landscape, it's really hard to discount the women. How did equality come so early to Idaho? If you really want to make your territory, your state, attractive, you provide equality regardless of sex, regardless of gender, and that includes the ballot. Do we really know the heroes behind the cause? Abigail Scott Dunaway was probably one of the longest lasting suffrage activists in the country. She was shocked to the marrow of her being at how little opportunity women had. And she began to think about, instead of putting babies into cradles, how about putting ballots into ballot boxes? I think this is the tip of the iceberg for finding out who Emma Edwards was. And so many of these descriptions about her are wrong. And she willed this idea of suffrage into the seal by having the woman in equal footing as the man. She wanted every person in Idaho to see themselves in that symbol. How will a new generation of women make their mark on Idaho? It's incredibly important to have strong role models. Tell me about the bill. All of the evidence makes it very clear that that's one of the things that young women need. Know your government, yes, know your government. and then going to Girl State, yeah. <laughs> and then one day you'll be in the legislature. I'd love to. We're able to say to the rest of the world, this is what we are. Ahead of her time, woman suffrage in Idaho coming in 2020.